All right guys, welcome back to Hobby Farm Homestead. And today is gardening day. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get out there and till up this garden and see what kind of ground we got. Probably have to add a little bit of fertilizer. Not, not too much though. But anyways, let's get this craftsman out there and get it to work. guys that's good enough for the first till um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of fertilizer to the ground uh, just a little bit not a lot um, it doesn't really need much but uh, that grass will die off and right before I plant I'll hit it again so I'm gonna go grab that fertilizer and go ahead and throw it on Well, that should do it for now. I just added that fertilizer because it's got a, a high nitrogen count and I plan on planting corn, sweet corn up here this year. And that's what sweet corn needs is a high nitrogen count in the soil. So hopefully that'll help out. I don't think I'm gonna do the bed out back there, the garden out back. Uh, it was just a whole lot for me to handle last year. On um, this bed up here pretty much went south on me also this year I'm gonna go ahead and get the garden fabric that'll help me out because you know in the summer I usually work 10 hours a day and it's hard to get home get everything else done and spend some time in the garden weeding I know it's kind of a cop-out and a lazy way to do it but I'm trying to uh, use my time as best as I can so I'm gonna go with the fabric never used it before so hopefully it does good this year with that and I, I won't have that many weeds I'm also not gonna overcrowd the garden this year last year it was horrible uh, I put in way too many pepper plants I still have probably 25 jars of my peppers from last year so this year I think I'm only gonna go with maybe 10 10 pepper plants sweet corn green beans and tomatoes I don't know if I'll venture into anything else. I'm gonna keep it very simple this year, what I can can and stuff like that. And I'll also put some green peppers in. Uh, we like those pretty fresh out of the garden. So other than that, I'm gonna keep it super simple. It's a lot easier on me, especially with the pigs going on, horses, and just keeping the rest of this farm up. So the garden fabric is on order. It should be here Wednesday of this coming week. So I will uh, show that to you when I get it in say four foot wide by 300 foot roll. And I also got the yard staples, I'll pin it down. So like I said, I've never used it before. I'm hoping it's gonna help me out with just my whole time schedule right now. Uh, that way the garden doesn't get overgrown with weeds and all that good stuff. So this year I'm gonna, you know, like I said, I'm gonna do the sweet corn, tomatoes, uh, probably just like aroma tomato green peppers and some block peppers and green beans uh, in my garden. It's super simple this year. I don't wanna overdo it like I did last year. I just had way too much 
and uh, it wasn't fun. So I want to get back to having fun gardening, so I'm going to keep it simple. It's the best way to do it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and when I get that stuff in, I will show it to you, and we'll get it installed, and hopefully we'll be planting our garden here in the next week or two. Um, normally I don't do much until Memorial Day weekend, but I might be able to get it in a week earlier this year. It depends on the weather, but I, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any frost anymore. So, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, and I will catch you on the next one.